after a 15-year career working for professional sports teams, you know, when I first started using technology, it was really this idea of test at preseason, test at the end of the season. More so because the technology wasn't as efficient and it was a lot more difficult to understand what we were measuring. But over the years, the technology has gotten better. Our understanding and interpretation of the data has gotten better to the point now where I'm embedded testing almost in every session, if not every other session. And the big part of the reason for that is because the technology is in a better space, I'm able to interpret the information in real time and utilize that information to adjust within session, give feedback to the client, and ultimately, it's upgrading my entire process from where I was 10, 15 years ago. Technology hasn't always been a part of the traditional rehab case, more from the perspective of affordability and availability. And if you can't fault someone for what they don't know, so the opportunity to work in professional sports, you get exposed to a lot of different sports science and technology. So bringing that into the general public, trying to break the mold of the traditional model, leveraging some of the lessons we learn in pro sports with the athletes to get them back on the court, back on the field. We can do the same thing by leveraging that technology and it's become much more affordable and much more easier to use than 10 years ago. When managing rehab for professional athlete versus the general public, there really aren't too many differences in the approach because ultimately everybody's trying to get back to either some sort of sport or some sort of activity. So ultimately the principle of measuring it, utilizing technology to understand where we're at in the process, and then adjusting the rehab plan to make sure we're hitting those goals, hitting those milestones throughout the journey. So whether you're a professional athlete or you're a general public or you're a working mom, working dad, whatever it is, our goal the entire process is to measure it, understand where our status is, and then continue to progress and adjust where needed. So one thing that has really wowed me when it comes to working with the general public with some of the ball technology is that the instantaneous biofeedback really helps them understand their progress and status. So for example, working with a post-op knee when we're going into reintroduction of exercise, giving them the feedback on say something like the force plates really shows them how much force or effort they're putting in their non-surgical side versus their surgical side. And they're able to learn it so much quicker and really feel what it's like to load that leg. Whereas if they didn't have the technology, then it makes it a little bit more challenging for them to really understand. So objectively speaking, it does massive um, gains for the clients because they really understand what it feels like to start utilizing either that leg, that arm, that shoulder, that knee from coming from surgery or coming off of an injury. Vault is an incredible company that continues to evolve with the times. They are leveraging resources around the world. And one of my favorite things that they're currently doing is leveraging the vast amount of data to create normative values for a lot of the technology. And that makes my job, my role in managing rehab and training much more efficient because right away, when a client or an athlete performs a test, I can give them the feedback of saying, hey, for your age, for your gender, for your sport, here's where you rank across the entire world because Vault is a global leader in sports science and technology. So the ability to leverage that data to then give the feedback to the clients and athletes has been an absolute game changer.